that, friends, we bring to you your track announcer, Mr. Phil Allen. Thank you, Corky. An absolute pleasure. Phil Allen is ready to call heat number two of the Indian Horse Relays. They're about set to start in front of you now. Canterbury Park, make some noise for heat number two. And they're off. And a cantankerous brew crew racing as erratically as a loose shopping cart has gotten loose and the race has not started. You'll notice the combatants in front of us now in their individual spots. They race around one time, then they meet their muggers. They switch horses, go around a second time, do the same thing again. And the final and third time decides the winner of heat number two. Canterbury's Brian Aragoni is in the winner circle. And he is adjacent to the Medicine Tail team representing the Crow Tribe of Montana. Brian, what's it like down there? A lot of action going on. Each box has two horses in it. They're amped up, ready to go. There's a lot going on. They have to keep the horses calm, relaxed, right before they run a mile, getting loose. These horses are bareback, awfully hard to keep control of the horses down here. And if any horse gets loose, they risk being disqualified. So every key to this puzzle needs to be absolutely perfect in order for them to be victorious today. Thanks, Brad. And they're off in heat number two of the Indian Horse Relays. And Red Bone Relay goes right to the lead, ridden by Verge McCormick. It is Red Bone Relay grabbing that early lead, pressured early by Brew Crew to the inside, ridden by Lawrence Harvey. And as they corner, it is Brew Crew taking the lead from Red Bone Relay. After that, it is Brown Boys representing Boys Fort Band of Chippewa. They are third and about three lengths from the lead. And behind them, we have Lil Badger started from the seventh spot. It's a very tightly packed constellate as they head up the Canterbury Park barn side. After that, we come back to the green team blanket bull racing from the three spot. And that one's about three lengths from the lead. We have a new leader. And taking over up top is Medicine Tail. Medicine Tail with James Reelberg running to the mugger, who is Sontag Reelberg. And Medicine Tail, representing Crow Tribe of Montana, has the lead, opening up by two as they come to the top of the stretch. Lap number one of three, heat two, in the thrilling Indian horse relays. Up top, it is still Medicine Tail leading it. And now beginning to make charges are several on the outside. Redbone relay right in there. Behind them with the green blinkers representing the green charges. Blanket bull as they begin to pack up. They come down the stretch. Old Elk Relay is becoming prominent. Little Badgers on the outside. Now, Brian, here comes the exchange. Everyone's in with a chance right now. As you can see, they're all very close. You're going to see these young riders. No saddle. They're going to hop off going 20 miles an hour at times. They need to stop the horse, hop on the next horse, get ready to go, all while another mugger will grab the horse that just got done running, and they're off. It looks like all got away clean and safe, and it's still anyone's game right now. Lil Badger handled the exchange beautifully. Lil Badger coming up big. It's Lil Badger on the lead as they corner in lap number two of the three-lap Indian horse relay. And it's Lil Badger for Blackfeet of Montana. Wes Edwards is the rider. And up top, it's Lil Badger leading it. In second right now is Brew Crew. Blanket Bull also very prominent, and they're beginning to cut into the margin. That is Lil Badger. Lil Badger is on the lead. Lil Badger leads it, beginning to make a move, is Medicine Tail. And the Medicine Tail group is now within a half length of the lead, midway through the backside. After that, we have Blanket Bull galloping along in third. 
Behind that one might be Brown Boys. Then it's a, a mile back to Brew Crew, who's second last. And Redbone Relay is far out of it in last. And they head into the far turn, preparing to meet their muggers. And the second exchange is going to take place pretty shortly. On the lead is Lil Badger, and Lil Badger has opened up a big, big lead. It's Lil Badger striding along powerfully, going secretariat on lap two. Lil Badger has opened a lead of at least 15 lengths. Here comes Lil Badger with those red blinkers, feeling the right-handed stick. The rider just took a peek back, and all he sees is Valley Fair. It's exchange time, Brian, and Lil Badger is on top. Yeah, of course, this is going to be interesting, though. Despite Little Badger having a huge lead, still a ton of pieces need to go right for them to get the victory. The holder is going to have the horse ready to go. That's the one who's going to jump off. Little Badger needs to get off clean and get out clean. Otherwise, these others are going to catch up. Looks like the green team made a completely clean exchange right off and right on, and the big gray is making a live charge right at the leader. Could catch up, Little Badger if the big gray has enough horse in him. Wes Edwards had some trouble boarding Lil Badger so that at one time 20 length lead is down to five. Blanket Bull is in second and Blanket Bull is a mile clear from Redbone Relay who was last at one point but now is in third. As they corner in the final lap of heat two of the thrilling Indian horse relay. On the lead and up top is Lil Badger. Had some trouble with the exchange but so far it's no problem leading it by about seven lengths. Still in second is Blanket Bull. Blanket Bowl is far clear from Red Bone Relay. After that, Old Elk Relay and Ashton Old Elk in fourth, representing Crow Tribe, Montana. They head into the far turn, and Blanket Bowl means business. Blanket Bowl is striding up alongside Lil Badger, and those two in bareback fashion are far clear from the others in the Indian Horse Relay. Lil Badger on the inside. Outside of that is Blanket Bowl, and they're in a spine tingler. Lil Badger allowed Blanket Bull to come up to his throat, but now he runs away by two. And it's Lil Badger and Wes Edwards for Blackfeet of Montana leading it with Badger make that Blanket Bull refusing to go away. A mile after that to Redbone Relay in third, and they're coming home now. It's Lil Badger leading it by five. Blanket Bull gave his best, but his best is second best as they rise and applaud the winners of Heat 2 of the Indian Horse Relay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lil Badger.